Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for making it out tonight's uh, Wind Ensemble concert, our second online concert as a Wind Ensemble. However, if you were here last night with the Jazz Ensembles, I hope you really enjoyed the layout of that uh, concert because we're going to do a very similar thing tonight. We are going to have our small chamber groups made up of all of our Wind Ensemble members. Then we'll be doing a large group. Uh, together on two pieces later on and then we're gonna have an after party <laughs> in which uh, the students who have really only had uh, about less than four weeks to prepare for this concert so they've not only had to learn the music new music they've had to record it they've had to do rough drafts final drafts the recordings re-record I mean that could be kind of nerve-wracking being all by yourself and then nitpicking every little bit thing about your recording and then we have people students who have chosen to take on the responsibility of putting it together which we highly 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 appreciate so we're going to share with you all of our recorded projects first but then like last night we're going to have a live after party we're actually going to play some chamber pieces we're going to do some sight reading me and some students and we're going to do it live and it's going to be at a separate web page. You'll see that link if you go down to the notes, which are for this YouTube um, show. If you go to the notes underneath the video, you'll see a link. It's a tiny URL link to my YouTube page. It's just tinyurl.com. And instead of saying Professor McMullen, it just says prof, P-R-O-F, and then M-C-M, P-R-O-F-M-C-M. If you go to there, tinyurl.com, P-R-O-F-M-C-M, right when this concert is done, you can be a part of our live after party show here, which we're going to play live on the internet amongst me and some students. Wow, <laughs> I'm excited. So um, why don't we just start things out? Uh, again, also on top of that link which is in the notes you'll see our entire program so instead of having a program that we're handing out go ahead look at the program down there and i also hope that all of you are typing into the chat that's a unique experience about these youtube live streams so um please share your thoughts share your comments of course keep it appropriate but i want you to share and, and give some positive vibes to what we're doing because we're working hard here and we really, really appreciate you coming out and supporting us in this endeavor. So we're going to start out with a very standard tune that some of you may know, may have grown up with me. It's entitled Stand By Me and it's actually a chamber music group made up of one person. We're going to hear from Chris Dore who... Uh, who arranged this and he plays on it it's a duet he recorded himself twice once on bass saxophone once on tenor saxophone he created this arrangement that he's gonna he, uh, play for you I think it'll be a, a great opener for us and then second after that our chamber ensemble number two will be a percussion ensemble and in this percussion ensemble their piece by the beloved 20th century Hungarian composer Béla Bartók entitled Dance. Uh, and in that group, you're going to hear from Jared James on percussion, Gabe Hoffman also on percussion, and then Robert Becerra on the keyboard. And then the next one after that, we're just going to go one after the other for these first three. Uh, you're going to hear an amazing group like very talented we are having a trio of two tenor saxophones and a french horn and they're playing uh in fact continuing what they did from the first concert the first concert they played uh one of the movements of beethoven's trio for two oboes and english horn for two tenor saxes and a french horn this time they're going to play two different movements they're going to play movements two and movements four of Beethoven's trio. So I hope you enjoy that. On that group, we will hear from Chavit Chelier Monizis on the French horn. We will hear from Maya Murillo and Jake Guardhouse, both on the tenor saxophone. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. 
what a great way to start the show, huh? Do you believe they only had about three or four weeks to put those together, practice? But and and I'm I'm blown away. I'm really proud of how hard these students have been working this semester, especially given our tough situation of being isolated in our homes, but then still coming together and finding a way of being creative and collaborating uh, via distance. So. Uh, I, please give some extra credit to our students for doing that and then of course extra credit to you for taking the time to support us virtually uh, which is exciting not only for the fact that we get to share it with you uh, at your own location wherever you want to be but anybody in the world could be tuning in right now <laughs> I might even have my relatives in Canada watching right now hmm, who knows okay so let's do some more. Uh, this next one is a, uh, a piece by, uh, if any of you are familiar with the music, Hamilton. This is an arrangement of the song Dear Theodosia from that uh, musical. And it's arranged by the two students who are featured in this duo, in this chamber group, arranged by Hunter Avalona, who you'll hear playing trumpets, and also Nikki Beck, who you will hear playing the saxophone. Next after that, we're going to hear a Barcarolle in canon, is what it's called, by Ernst Halvin. And this is a really well done performance, a duo, a flute and clarinet duo, uh, performed by Frankie Newton on the flute and David Martin on the clarinet. And then after that, we're going to hear, you know what, let's hear another duo from our bass saxophonist slash tenor saxophonist Chris Dorr. And uh, this one is entitled All Fly Away, which is from the band, if any of you are familiar with the band Lucky Chops, uh, I would highly recommend checking out some of their crazy playing, jazz playing on the internet. It's, uh, they've become a major cult favorite out there. And so a huge, huge following in that, that realm. So highly check it, uh, recommend checking it out. And this arrangement uh, put together by Chris, I think you're really going to enjoy. So let's, uh, let's give a little virtual round of applause for our students. Let's hear some more.
much for all your support. Again, I hope you really enjoyed all of our chamber groups. Those are, even though we're going to hear from a few more of them again, those are all of our chamber groups, all of our students that we have performing. Actually, scratch that. We do have one that is not accounted for yet, which we'll get to. It'll be an extra special one as well. Um, but we are going to hear back a few uh, from a few of our groups. But before we do that, I want to put together a large ensemble with our, our entire class. And not only is it a large ensemble with our entire class, we don't quite have the full numbers to fill an entire wind ensemble this semester. However, we have always done a great job because we have high talent in our in our ensemble. We, we work really hard in recruiting and getting the best talent out to our college, as you can tell from what you're hearing right now. And so what online helps with is now students can record all of the different parts. So you're gonna hear our trumpet player recording and playing three trumpet parts. You're gonna hear our saxophonist playing two saxophone parts. And we, we got flute playing two flute parts. And uh, even our uh, a flute player playing also the trombone. Who, who would have thought, you know? So uh, this piece of music, not only is the flute player and slash trombone player pretty cool feat on top of its own, that person's also going to conduct. She's a student of mine. She's not only a uh, student in the wind ensemble, but she's, I've had the pleasure of having her as a, as a private student, as a music major here at Moore Park College for some time. And so uh, she's a very talented student, multi-instrumental, and now she's uh, very ambitious and wanting to work on her conducting skills. So you're going to see her conduct this next piece, which is an absolute beautiful piece of music. This piece of music is by a modern choral composer. His name is Eric Whitaker. And Eric Whitaker is known for having these intense, dense harmonies at times, but in a way, they set a mood that no other music uh, up to this time has really set. It, it finds a way of being dense, but yet gorgeous and beautiful at the same time, and really intriguing. And so this piece we're going to play for you, it's written for choir initially, but he himself took his, his own choir music and transcribed it for wind ensemble. So this doesn't have a transcriber, it's just him. So it's Eric Whitaker's composition, Sleep, and I hope you enjoy it.
Now let's work our way back to our smaller groups. We're going to have some repeats of some of our combos. Combos. I'm thinking I'm wearing jazz last night. Some of our chamber groups. There we go. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a repeat of two of them right now. Two of the great groups that we have uh, worked and worked up a second piece to perform for you. And this first group is our percussion ensemble again. And it's a piece entitled Festa by Alexis Piete, or yeah, Piete uh, Guido. There we go. Forgive my bad pronunciation. Well, you can, you can fact check me on that. And then the next one we're gonna hear again from our clarinet and flute duo. This is entitled Hopes and Dreams That Save the World by Toby Fox. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> continue now with another large group piece another full wind ensemble but uh, piece but before I do that I want to give you another reminder make sure you click on that link in the notes of this or you just type in and check out go to my YouTube page right when we're done and if you go there then you'll be able to see our live after party in which we'll be sight reading some uh, trio music Actually, me and a couple of students will be sight reading some trio music and interacting with the audience. So you could be typing along and we'll be uh, reacting and talking with you and giving feedback. It's a pretty cool experience. So I uh, highly recommend checking that out right when we're done, which will be coming up in a few more pieces. So uh, this next one is entitled Pavon. And Pavon, I just love this piece of music. It's a French a uh, piece of music from the early 1900s during the Impressionist era. And Impressionism, uh, it, it is something that was, you found in painting, you found it in sculpture, you found it in literature, and you found it in music. And the whole purpose of it 
was to set a scene. It's not so much about telling a story and moving around, having the melody take you in different angles and harmonic progression, all that. It's more about setting a scene, setting a mood. And this piece of music, it's called Pavan for a Dead Princess. So you can kind of get an idea. Whoa, that kind of seems like a harsh scene. But a pavan is a courtly dance. It's a French courtly dance. However, for a dead princess, that seems kind of dark. So I want you to listen to this piece. Listen to how it feels. It's, it's a dance. Um, but yet it's very haunting at the same time. And uh, I just, this is one of my favorite impressionist pieces. I hope you enjoy it. This is Pavon by Maurice Ravel. <laughs>
how do you feel now having heard that? Did it set a set a mood for you? For me, it, it brings me chills, but that's just me. Hopefully it did for you as well. Uh, we're going to do one last, one very last piece of music for this concert. And this closer is a really special one for me because, uh, well, number one, it's a chamber group you haven't heard yet in this concert. Uh, and all of them are made up of my private students. I have uh, all our brass students and they, uh, they've they been working hard and Emma, who you just saw conducting and playing flute and playing trombone, she not only is playing trombone on this coming group, but she also wrote out the arrangements of it. And if any of you have seen the movie Toy Story, you probably know this. It's her arrangement of Randy Newman's famous tune entitled, You've Got a Friend in Me. We're going to hear from her. We're going to hear from Cameron Tucker on the French horn. And we're also going to hear from Julian Prez on the euphonium. So I hope you enjoy their uh, their performance of You Have a Friend in Me. <laughs> students you just heard playing there working their tails off trying to bring you this amazing music within the the confines of where we're at sometimes the most creative things can come uh, to you while you're stuck <laughs> with your own thoughts in fact some of the most creative people out there are good daydreamers and so uh, at times you, you got to look at how can you make the best of the situation I think tonight has been exactly that. And so uh, our after party, if you have not had enough music yet, and you want to listen to more, we're having our after party, which will feature two of the students you just heard, where it's going to be me, along with Cameron on French horn and Emma on trombone. We're going to play some trios for you, but live. It gets to be an exciting experience because we're going to be sight reading the music together. It's just going to be fun hang out, play some music, and uh, interact with all of you who end up coming and being a part of our after party. So make sure in order to join, you go uh, to tinyurl.com slash P-R-O-F-M-C-M. You go there, you're set, join us. We want as many of you there as possible to help um, uh, in, have the experience with us. So... Uh, this has been a great night, and I really appreciate your support. 